Hey, everybody, Alan slaughter Zinsky for the Brevard Sports Network, and we are here on the campus of Bayside High School today where the Bears are looking to build on an impressive 16-win season last year. And I'm here with a couple of the county's outstanding juniors this year. This is Jasmine Colton to my right and Jenna Walters to my left. Now I'm going to start with you, Jasmine. You led the team in kills uh, last year. Talk a little bit about uh, – what the expectation? I mean, this is a program. When I talked to Coach last year, that kind of thought it was going to have a really good year. It did. But where do we go from here? Um, I definitely think we have to like think about last year and how like we topped a bunch of our like stats and stuff, and make sure we like are keeping up with that. But also like it's kind of a rebuild team this year. But I feel like we have a lot of skill, and we can like. Get out there and, and get some wins. What do you like best about what you're seeing so far, Jenna, from your team? Um, everybody's pretty, like, determined to play because everybody worked really hard during the summer to come and make varsity for being a whole bunch of JV players and even one freshman coming up on varsity. Everybody worked pretty hard and earned their spot to be to be playing on varsity this year. Yeah, I just have one question. Are you the final, Walters? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to, to ask – so what's it like? I mean, you're a junior now, and you play with your sister for a couple of years. Um, this is you. This is your identity this year, your team. How does that feel? Um, it's definitely different because the spotlight is usually on the other Walters for being the younger Walters, so I feel like this year is a little bit more of my year. Yeah, it's no, exciting. It's it's yeah, no, it's definitely it, and I like to hear that it's exciting. Uh, like we said, 16 wins for this program this year. What do you see, your, obviously, as a leader, but this year, where do you see this team? I mean, like, if I – I don't want you to pick a win total, but, like, what is the goal? Um, I think the goal right now is just to, like, be a team overall and, like, have that connection and be able to, like, work with each other and be the best we can. Tell me a little bit about uh, Coach Nicole. She uh, – you know, she's been here a while now, and, and, and you could really see the – her hard work and determination to make this program uh, what she wants it to be here in Brevard County last year. Talk a little bit about Coach. So she's definitely made a lot of, like, difference in players. Like, we were just talking about this today in practice. Like, there's this one girl that she, like, she's, like, learning all of her skills, and it's, like, really, like, making an improvement, and it's really good. Taking that personal touch is, is always a good thing from a coach, and they can't always do that. Um, you, you girls are going to be one of the best conditioned teams in the county because it's hot in this gym. <laughs> yeah, it is hot. The floors are, like, moist right now yeah. and wet because how hot it is. Talk a little bit about preparing yourself for the season. Ed. Now, volleyball is one of those sports where, did, first of all, do you play club? Yes. What do you play for? I play for Cape Coast. Okay, so vo high school volleyball is one of those sports where it, to me, feels like soccer as well. It feels like a supplement to the club game talk a little bit about your volleyball career and what your goals and hopes are like you still have two more years of high school but do you see yourself playing in college yes i do that's my biggest dream and i'll keep working towards that no matter what um playing club playing like high school and then playing like during the summer even when like we're not in club or high school so yeah you got any uh you got any colleges knocking on your door yet uh, you go oh, you say yeah we're getting there Jasmine, how about you? Same question to you. Um, obviously, with the talent that I have sitting here that I'm talking to, it, you have to want to play this sport in college, right? Talk about that. And who do you play club for? I play for Cape Coast also. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just really I'm excited to play for college. But, like, it's kind of – I feel like it's going to be very different. But I'm, I'm definitely, like, trying to prepare for it. I've been talking to, like – other like college players and getting their opinion on it and seeing how it is. You seem like you, you still want to take in these final two years of high school first and get all you can out of it. Yeah, yeah. definitely. All right, ladies, let's find out a little bit about you. Jasmine, I always I asked the girls this last year, so I'm going to ask you now. Talk to me a little bit about when you're not playing club, when you're not playing volleyball, when you're not working out to get in better shape to play volleyball. This is a 365 sport, folks, I'm telling you. Day in and day out, these ladies prepare every day to play this game. Tell me a little bit about uh, what you – how do you relax? Well, sometimes in between, like, 
um, high school and club, we have like a two week break and that's when I like just like chill out at home or like watch videos of like college playing or like film. But it's still volleyball, right? Yeah, it's still basically, yeah. How about for you? Um, I usually go out on the boat yeah. like with my family or I do a lot of family stuff. You have a, I'm, I'm trying to think of a Walter's Thanksgiving or a Christmas. Is it, is it competitive? Yes. Yeah. We play, like, a whole bunch of games. We have a volleyball net set in my backyard. My aunts used to play in uh, high school and college, so they, like, go crazy out there and play with us and stuff. But, yeah. And then we have, like, a pickleball tournament, and, like, we have, like, teams of two, and it's, like, a huge thing. It's talked about, like, year-round. It's uh, The Walters family pickleball champ. Who is it this year? Uh, it was my Uncle Casey. Okay, there you go. Way to go, Uncle Casey. And I got to ask you, now, I just want to know about you. What was your reaction when uh, your brother got drafted? I was so excited for him. Like, <laughs> it was crazy. I Honestly, I didn't think that. Actually, I did think, but not the Cleveland Guardians. Right. I thought it was going to be something different. So it was exciting. You I was more excited than he was. Are you a Guardians fan now? Yes. Absolutely 100%. Well, I am a Bayside Bears fan because what Coach Hunt has done here uh, has been a lot of fun to watch over the last couple of years in 16 win season last year. We're going to talk to Coach Hunt coming up here about how to build on that. Now, to be fair, she loses a lot of seniors off of this team, and we're going to ask her about that too um, and and how the process continues to move forward. Uh, she was an outstanding volleyball player at Florida Tech, so if anybody knows the game plan to do that, it's Coach Ladies, thank you both for spending a couple of minutes with me here. We will definitely, uh, looks like we might be able to do a couple of games inside this gym this year. And uh, so we'll see. For Jenna Walters and Jasmine Colton, I'm Alan Slaughterzinski for the Brevard Sports Network. Hey, everybody. Alan Slaughterzinski for the Brevard Sports Network. We're with one of my favorite coaches in the county. I always love talking to Coach Nicole Hunt and uh, – I'm talking about texting, too, because I text her and ask her volleyball questions sometimes as well. Coach, uh, first of all, let's just take a look back at last year. It was a pretty special season last year, 16-win year. And did you accomplish the things you set out to accomplish last year? Because I know we talked about how important that season was to you with the seniors you had. Yes, absolutely. We um, beat five schools that the team has never beat before and um, definitely got a lot more people out at our games because of it. Yeah. So drew the interest in and the confidence in the team that, that the girls were really lacking before. No, it was, it was, and it was a lot of fun to watch, too. And, uh, all right, Coach, that's the good news. The bad news is all of those seniors we talked to last year are somewhere else now. I know if you could bring them all back, you would, but you can't. So how do you keep the enthusiasm running in the program and build on last year? Uh, well, thankfully, even though we had a um, big turnover with the seniors, um, two of the biggest players in the county are here. Yeah. So it's, they draw a lot of attention, a lot of enthusiasm, and the younger up-and-coming players really are driven to, to play for them and really impress them. They want to be on the court with them, yeah. so they're working their tails off to be there. Is it a lot of fun to know, and of course we're talking about uh, Miss Walters and Miss Colton, is it a lot of fun to know that, you know what? I, you know, yeah, you had a muster, but I get these girls for not just this year, but next year too, and that you can really kind of have a two-year plan here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I've only got two seniors this year, so essentially what people see this year is going to be the same next year, only stronger. As you look at your team, and of course, you know, aside from Walters and Carlton, who else will you be heavily relying on this season? Uh, Kaylee McLean is an outside hitter that we brought up from JV for districts last year. Um, she's got a real strong swing on her. Uh, and then we've got a new six foot middle um, in Janae McLean, uh, who's also a Cape Coast player. So she's uh, playing year round and um, she's gonna put up some strong blocks. We've also got um, a right side lefty that's 5'10", that's um, putting in some strong swings too. So I guess my biggest joy is the fact that I am finally the shortest person on the team. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah. who's, uh, who's your DS Libero this year? Uh, DS Libero is going to be one of a couple people, but right now um, I'm looking at the freshman that I brought up from freshman team last year. She'll be a sophomore this year, and that's Haley uh, Vermilai. She's um, 
She actually plays for Countdown. Okay. And she is all over the court. She's, she, yeah, she's one that's not afraid to sacrifice her body for the ball. And um, she's definitely making some impressions with the older players. We were talking before we went on coaching. How exciting is it to finally be in the same gym where your daughter's practicing for a team that's or going to be here at Bayside? Yeah, my daughter's out here all the time with us. Um, she's going into seventh grade this year. Unfortunately, the school she's going to at Southwest, they don't have a team. Oh. So, um, But she's going to play mini club this year for Cape Coast. And um, she's kind of the one that runs our whole concession stand. She I mean, she's, she's awesome. here all the time. She's the, the pesty little sister to all the girls. So she's been here since she was four years old. It's kind of hard to get rid of her. She's going to be a lot of fun to watch her progress in the next couple of years. But, uh, Coach, the goal for this team, and not, I'm not talking about wins or anything, but as you look ahead to this season, obviously volleyball in this county, is, you know, we have some really good teams. And What, what is your goal for this team this year? What, what do you tell them you want this team to be able to accomplish? A uh, major accomplishment this year is – really just to carry on from last year the confidence level when they walk on the court the determination and hard work that we're putting in in practices are going to relay in the games um, and everybody learning new positions because there's so many players that we've brought up from jv that didn't necessarily have a set position so we're trying to train specifically in specific positions but knowing that some of those players may have to play in positions they haven't played before to fill in the, the gaps that we have from losing all those seniors. So, You know, Coach, last year, I couldn't believe it. I remember looking at the volleyball state tournament rankings when they came out, and I thought, I had you guys pegged to be in. In fact, I even said in our volleyball preview show, Bayside, they're in. I, I just thought there was no way, but somehow this point system that still nobody understands uh, kept you guys out this with Walters and Colton and does that, does that drive them a little bit and you absolutely yeah. I mean it was it was very disappointing but at the same time um, my speech to them was well you have to to win districts you know like you can't just bank on being let in yep. earn it so they are going out with that determination to to earn it and and get their place in the state tournament for the first time so you know what i I'm, I'm excited for this program i was last year i am again this year and i love watching them play i love their enthusiasm and i think a couple of good matches we did last year if you look at the enthusiasm level and that's important in volleyball because you can go down a set and a lot of times you see shoulders drop and attitudes turn not this team not this program and a very major reason of it a reason why that doesn't happen is because of this outstanding coach sitting next to me. For Coach Nicole Hunt, I'm Alan Slaughterzinski for the Brevard Sports Network.